we take a example of maltose maltose also example of disaccharide how maltose generally it form by digestion of starch and uh, in a digestion process uh, we have studied that starch in presence of slavery amylase and pancreatic amylase convert into maltose and it also present in germinating seed germinating seed also possess maltose sugar and maltose sugar is the example of disaccharide why it is example of disaccharide because it form by two molecule of glucose it means two molecule of glucose combine and form a single structure of maltose and it is the structure of maltose it is a structure of maltose it means to formation of uh, one molecule of maltose sugar a combination of two mole molecule of glucose take place it is the alpha d glucopyranose and it is also alpha d glucopyranose why it is called alpha because when a hydroxyl group a hydroxyl group a present near to oxygen can be returned towards lower side then represent as alpha if this hydroxyl group can be returned towards above side near to oxygen then represent as beta it is the main difference in between alpha and beta why this is uh, what is the specific characteristic of pyranose structure pyranose is structure in which is five carbon present in ring along with one molecule of oxygen so that it represent as a hexagon structure and uh, this maltose sugar formed by alpha d alpha means hydroxyl group present below side and d d means it show right side rotatory that's why represent as alpha d glucopyranose glucopyranose why it is called glucopyranose because because it is the ring structure of glucose and this ring structure is called pyranose that's why represent as alpha alpha means hydroxyl group present below side d means it show right rotatory so called dextro rotatory and glucopyr gluco means structure of glucose pyranose means hexagon structure that's why represent as alpha d glucopyranose and about this characteristic we have studied yesterday now how this combination or this bond formation it means uh, one glucose molecule having formula c6s12o6 and it is also having formula c6s12o6 and uh, during a uh, when uh, two molecule of glucose combine then they release uh, one molecule of h2o then formula will be c6s22o11 due to releasing of uh, releasing of h2 molecule uh, h24 converts into 22 because it released to two molecule of hydrogen and oxygen also one molecule of oxygen also released then oxygen molecule will be 11 so it is the formula of maltose sugar then a bond which form in between these two molecule is called glycosidic bond when uh, bond form in between two glucose molecule and two sugar molecule known as glycosidic bond and during each glycosidic bond a releasing of one molecule of h2o take place so uh, in this structure it is the structure of alpha d alpha d means hydroxyl group present towards lower side and in this structure in structure of another hydroxyl group this bond form in between a one carbon uh, first carbon of one uh, glucose residues and fourth carbon of uh, another uh, glucose re residues it is the main characteristic of this uh, bonding and this bond represent as 14 bonding alpha 14 bonding why it is rep represent as alpha 14 bonding because 14 means uh, first carbon of first monomer uh, glucose molecule and fourth carbon of second glucose molecule involved to formation of bond that's why this bond represent as 14 bonding and uh, it, and in structure of glucose aldehyde group present on first group and 
in this structure aldehyde group also present in a first carbon it means this bonding form in between aldehyde group of uh, this bonding uh, form in between aldehyde group of first carbon uh, so that it represent as one four bonding it means uh, during this bond formation uh, aldehyde group of first carbon only use and uh, the residues of second glucose free aldehyde group uh, remain stay remain in this structure that's why this type of uh, disaccharide sugar it is reducing in nature why it is called reducing in nature because in this structure one glucose molecule having free hydroxyl group which can be react with another compound that's why known as reducing in nature